I want to start by thanking the Reverend Vogel and this church for calling this gathering together. And unfortunately, uh, to regret the necessity, the deeds and the events that have produced the necessity of calling this gathering together. The fact that someone felt it okay to, to paint the swastika on this sanctuary is just symptomatic of what's been going on. The increase in anti-Semitic incidents. I don't know that there's an increase in anti-Semitic thoughts. Maybe just pe that people feel freer to express their evil thoughts. The increase in attacks on Muslims, some from the highest authorities in the land. The increase in attacks and belittling of refugees and of immigrants are all in an ugly tradition. But we must invoke better traditions. And I want to invoke two in particular today that are fitting in this sanctuary, uh, that are foundation stones of our country, the Bible and the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence, we are told, that all men are created equal. Well, in 1776, there was a very limited conception of what that meant. And much of American history is the history of the struggle to expand the understanding of what all men are created equal means. In 1776, it didn't mean women, men. It didn't mean black people or Native American people certainly didn't mean LGBTQ people. They weren't thinking of that. It didn't even mean white men without property. And much of our history is a history of expanding our understanding of what equality means and who have, full, who have the right to full participation in our society. And of course, what we're seeing now is an attack on that. The Bible, the Hebrew scriptures have many commandments. Thou shalt keep the Sabbath, that shalt, thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. The rabbis count 613 in all. But the one commandment that is repeated most often, 36 times to be precise, is the commandment that says, Thou shalt not oppress the stranger, because you know, thou knowest the soul of the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. 36 different times in slightly different forms that is repeated. Thou shalt not oppress the stranger. So how do we, how are we doing on that? How are we doing on that? Now we're all strangers in this land, obviously, unless we're Native Americans. We're all immigrants, we're the children of immigrants. But people forget. I'm an immigrant, one generation removed, but two or six, what's the difference? We forget. People want to forget, but they shouldn't. Because this, this land should be a haven of freedom and opportunity, and a haven, therefore, for people who lack freedom or opportunity or just fleeing violence. And the thought that the Secretary of Homeland Security was able to affirm on television the other day that they are giving serious consideration to separating mothers and small children at the border for people fleeing violence, because that might be a, a um, turned to people fleeing violence coming here, that you would do the inhuman act of separating mothers and small children is a shame for this country. But we have to look at the fact <coughs> that we struggle to maintain, we struggle to uphold our traditions, we struggle to enlarge our conception of equality, we struggle to make real our commitments in this country, and that's why we're all here. And that's what this gathering is about, and that's why it's encouraging that so many people are participating in this effort and so many other efforts, because we will uphold the honor of this country, we will uphold the humanity of this country, we will oppose those who want to go in the wrong direction, and so that we can eventually look back and say, we did the right thing.